Aceh, which is a province located in the westernmost island of Indonesia, Sumatra, has a rich cultural heritage, fascinating history, and stunning natural beauty and makes it a unique and complex destination worth exploring. World Halal Tourism Awards 2016 held in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates announced Aceh as the world's best halal cultural destination, triggering the halal tourism scheme in the whole country. On a global stage, Halal Tourism presents a promising market in reference to the report of MasterCard Crescent Trading Global Travel Market Index 2019, which predicted that there will be 230 million Muslim tourists globally by 2026. Apart from the halal tourism, Aceh is also well known for its wearing of sarong culture or ijakrin. Thanks to Khairul Fadri Yahya, a man who graduated from Lhotsamawe Mechanical Engineering Polytechnic, who has struggled to bring the extinct culture to the world. Historian Rusdi Sufi in his book entitled Traditional Clothing in Aceh, published in 1993, exposed that the culture of wearing sarongs is one of the customs that has existed for a long time in Aceh, since the era of the Aceh Darussalam Kingdom. Sarong cloth is a cultural treasure in Aceh that has been long abandoned. Khairul Fadri Yahya is the one who campaigns to wear sarong cloth again. Through the Ija Krum brand, which products are sarongs, trouser covers, clothes and scarves, the man who has received education in Germany has a mission to improve the economic standard of the Achenese people and create a local business industry by empowering the craftsmen who are mostly graduates from vocational high schools. The Ija Krum sarong brand is homemade and sells uniqueness and quality as a selling point. The brand uses 100% cotton, in which the threads are imported from India. Upon arrival in Aceh, the bales of cloth are cut and sewn according to needs. Ija Krum releases cultural theme sarongs, just like its very first edition. The theme is Gayo, which is one of the tribes living in Aceh. Gayo is a highland area which is known as one of the world's best coffees producing fields, as well as a wealth of high cultural arts, namely the Saman dance, which is listed as an intangible world cultural heritage by UNESCO. In the early years, as a form of promotion, Hairul Fadri Yahya made his Ija Krun as souvenirs for exchange students to China. India, Japan, South Korea, and Malaysia. This typical Achenese woven cloth is also worn by the artist, who is also a member of the DPDRI, Rafli and the Kande Music Group, who will be holding a concert in England. All means are being taken to make people more familiar with the culture of wearing sarongs, because for this father of one daughter, sarong cloth is like a canvas on which to be creative, a means of preserving cultural heritage without a name remaining. Slowly but surely, utilizing his house in Gampong Satui, Banda Aceh City as a production location, workshop and a mini-gallery in Lampinung, also in Banda Aceh City, 
Khairul Fadri Yahya started pampering Ijab Khrung at various events, namely Muslim Fashion Festival, Modes Fashion Week, Indonesia Sharia Economic Festival in 2019 and 2021, Indonesian Creative Work of Bank Indonesia, Aceh Gayo Creative Works Murasilu Festival in 2022, and the La Mode La Chaussée Fashion Show in Paris, which all reap positive results. Up to this moment, Ija Krung has been marketed in a number of European countries, such as Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, Malaysia, and Southeast Asian countries. When the COVID-19 pandemic damaged various sectors, restrictions made it difficult for tourists to enter Indonesia, especially Aceh. This also had a big influence on Ija Kurung MSMEs. Hyrule, who was keen to observe the market opportunities, immediately changed gears from previously designing and producing sarongs, switching to designing and producing masks that gained positive responses from the market. At that time, he hoped that the government will remain committed and continue to support MSMEs in the province so that they continue to exist at the local, national and international markets with the common buy and use local products campaign. The government on one side hoped that MSME players in Tanah Renjong City will remain enthusiastic in running their businesses amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and continue to comply with health protocols. Aceh is one of the regions that has inherited a variety of modern cultures such as traditional weaving. However, as time goes by, this priceless cultural heritage has nearly been forgotten. Khairul Fajri Yahya is an exemplary figure who continues to preserve cultural heritage of Aceh through the so-called Ija Krum, which is a traditional textile of archer blend into a more modern design. The success of Ija Krum brand is expected to trigger the development of traditional weaving artists all over the archipelago.